Hey everybody, how's it going? I am so excited uh, to speak today to Victor. Victor is a close friend of mine. He is a mentor, he's a colleague, and, and a great past parent to one of my past students. So Victor, your story is incredible, and I'm so grateful that you are so open enough to share with us today about your story and just how things have been going for you. So let's start it off. So how's it going? I'm good. Uh, thanks, Mr. Chow, for uh letting me uh, speak to your students. And, and I really appreciate the opportunity to uh, uh, make everyone aware of, of uh, my particular condition and um, share with you today, and then we can learn something new. Absolutely. So, hey, in a nutshell, I know your story, but I'd love for you to share your story today with everyone else. So let's start with how have these past 12 months been for you? Well, uh, it, it started off terrible, really. It was... Uh, uh, it kind of goes back to about Thanksgiving last year, and uh, I just, I just couldn't eat. I, I, I couldn't sit at the dinner table uh, comfortably and being able to eat with my uh, my family and 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 friends really. And so it, um, it's it's when the the disease that I had is called achalasia, and that's really what um, I want to talk to you more about today about the uh, the difficulty it is for. Uh, for eating when it comes to that uh, particular disease. Yeah. So I guess one of the first questions I got is like, how did you get achalasia? Yeah, it's, um, it's not really known the origin. It, uh, some doctors believe it's, it's a virus, but, but basically uh, um, it, it, it prevents you from having the proper eating process because um, it, uh, uh, it has to probably something to do with the nerves and, and it doesn't allow the orchestration of the food to go from your mouth down to your stomach. Wow. And, um, uh, and it just prevented me from being able to eat. Wow. Hey, so from a biological perspective, so what have you learned about what was actually happening in your body, uh, when you did have achalasia? Yeah, so, um, so, you know, when, when, when normally when you eat properly, you have a, uh, you eat some food and it goes down into your esophagus and the esophagus, you know, transports it down to your stomach, but there's a trap door there that prevents the acid reflex from coming up from your stomach. So uh, the moment when you swallow, that's when the trap door opens to allow the food to go down and then it closes. And under normal circumstances, which we all kind of take for granted, the food goes down, uh, the door closes, and then uh, you can eat. But what was happening for me was that, I mean, I was able to get food in my mouth, but the, because this trap door got stuck, the food just kept building up. And so, you know, food, no food was going down. It was just coming back up. Wow. And, um, you know, this is the basis of uh, the achalasia. Wow. Wow. So, wow. I'm, I'm actually really interested on that. So how did this affect you? Like, like on a, like on a day-to-day -day level and are there any particular moments that you remember uh, this being particularly difficult? Yeah, you know, it, um, I, you know it, it's hard for me to talk about because I remember how difficult it was to just sit at the table with my family and I couldn't sit with them. They, they would, they would uh, I could see how nervous they were looking at my face whenever I took a bite of something, wondering if, it would get stuck. And, uh, pretty much most of the time I'd have to get up from the table and, um, you know, go to the restroom because everything was just coming back up. And so it became, um, uh, embarrassing. And, and in fact, I, I didn't even want to be eating with anyone because it was just, uh, such a, a condition. I, I couldn't enjoy, you know, these things that you just take for granted, just being able to sit down at a dinner table or, or any table and have, food with friends and just talk things over. Um, uh, I wasn't able to do that. It, and it, uh, it seemed to start like seven years ago. And then as time progressed, uh, it got so bad to this point that uh, I just didn't want to eat with anyone at the table. Wow. So for everyone who's listening right now, the miracle and really the blessing is that today Victor can eat and Victor as well. So how did that happen, Victor? And how are you able to eat again today? Well, um, what, what really got to me is when I was, I said, I got to see the doctor about this. And so um, 
I went and uh, told him about that. I, this one story that I wasn't able to eat an in-out burger. And he said, well, you got to stop eating that. And that, that's when it, I mean, it, it hit me again. Like I can't have my double, double animal style. Right. And so he said that um, you're probably going to need surgery. And so uh, we searched for uh, a doctor and it turns out there was one fortunately close by and uh, they went through and did the surgery where they would go in and, and to where the esophagus and the lower part of it and um, do a certain amount of uh, uh, adjustments to my esophagus uh, muscle that would relax the trap door just enough so that the food would be able to uh, go down, but not have the acid reflux go up. And uh, what was interesting is that I, I actually lost 30 pounds uh, from uh, the few months prior to the surgery because there was really nothing going down. And after the surgery, thank God, uh, he blessed me with being able to eat again that uh, um, I gained 20 pounds back. So that's kind of where I am uh, today. It's honestly just an incredible story here. It's, it's an incredible testimony. So, so Victor, um, I'll close this off here. So as we approach Thanksgiving, and then really as you approach this Thanksgiving, just how has your overall perspective in life changed? And what are some takeaways that we can all get from this? Yeah, you know, the, the takeaways are um, just be appreciative for those things that uh, you may have forgotten wow. that you have. And uh, I completely took for granted that I could just eat and eat easy and, and sit and enjoy being with friends and, and family talking uh, uh, about various aspects or having a snack or having popcorn, going to the movies. Uh, all those things, I didn't realize how lucky I was to have that until my condition worsened. And so, um, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, the other major takeaway is to really appreciate the silver linings that you have in your life. You know, yeah, you know, as we all know, COVID is just, uh, you know, kind of taken over all of our lives, but there's a lot of benefits to things that have happened. You know, for example, we've been able to kind of slow down a little bit. We were always going so hustle and bustle in so many things. And so, you know, we're able to kind of, you know, take a step back and, and kind of appreciate those, those good things in life. And uh, I've really, um, I've really made an extra effort. And, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk to your kids about is taking a moment to realize those things that you uh, have every day and don't appreciate and, or not that you don't appreciate, you forget to appreciate them. And so uh, I, I want to kind of ask you guys, what is it in, in your life that um, you really are thankful for that you may have actually uh, realized that it's, it's something that you've taken for granted. And I, um, I mean, I sure did with the whole eating thing. I mean, I, uh, I tell you, I'm very happy now that I can have an In-N-Out burger. I mean, that's just huge, right? And so these are the things that uh, I think are the takeaways of something that were so simple that, that you can appreciate today. That's, that's my thought for wow. your students. Wow. Victor, thank you so much for sharing your story for really who you are and what you stand for. And I wish you and your family a great Thanksgiving. And, you know, once again, I appreciate you jumping on this quick Zoom call to just chat with me about everything that you've gone through and really how your perspective has changed. So thanks so much. All the best. Yeah, thank you. And Thanksgiving to uh, happy Thanksgiving to all your students. And I'm thankful to God for him blessing me with being able to eat again. And I hope all you guys enjoy eating at, at uh, your Thanksgiving table as well. Have a good day.